aware of it because he was really good in training camp. And that's a guy who Frank Vogel could call on. And, and maybe there's another one, Taylor Horton Tucker. And there's his first two points back to back. Kaycock and then TH. He was the CAA Conference Defensive Player of the Year when he was in college. THT to the rack. Yeah. Lay it up and in. Floor. Matsukumpo on the floor. He gets his rebound and he's fouled. Get back to LeBron. Averaging 15 points and eight rebounds a game. He's played in three games for the Lakers, still looking for his first points. Game, you hear the the the, uh, the, the sneakers squeaking, and it sounds like. Okay. Yeah, and, and I think uh, I think veteran teams definitely have the, the advantage. You know, preparation. Uh, you know, discipline. Uh, but, you know, Geeter. You know, JaVale McGee's done a great job and seeing what these guys are doing in the bubble. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. I mean, this is a group of guys that genuinely likes each other in this bubble concept. Uh, at least I, from talking to a lot of these guys, knew. They, they were excited about all this time they were going to get to spend together. And I know that uh, every time we go to a road city, they'd be going to dinner together, uh, they'd be organizing movies, events, bowling, uh, all kinds of stuff as Kaycock gets into the action. So uh, that was one thing, Chris, that you can... Who's it going to be? Right now, it looks like Memphis, but hey, how about Portland getting healthy, looking awfully good? New Orleans at full strength. Sacramento. Could be any of those teams. Could be a lot of fun. Finals, no one's even talking about them right now. They got Zach Collins and Nurkic back. They got a guy named Dame Time. Around the back, JR. Monta Tacumpo with his bucket. Allie James and Brez, a little behind the back. Like any lineup that you look at, if LeBron is on the court, you want him to have the ball. Uh, and J.R. Smith there making a little play. So you know, LeBron's mastery of NBA offense is such, Chris, that he's, there are other times where he's such an effective scorer. He's so effective going to the basket that you do want to give him some help there. And that's why I think these seeding games and you don't want him to or when LeBron is getting his rest. Mike, congratulations. I know it's just a scrimmage, but the Laker players.